Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss one problem of uh, binary star from the chapter gravitation. So, here we have two stars of mass m and twice m, and they are revolving about a common center of mass. Okay, it is given the question that in a double star or a binary star, one mass m and other of mass twice m distance d apart. So, this separation is d rotate about their common center of mass. Okay find the expression for time period of smaller star okay so first goal is to find the center of mass or to locate the center of mass okay now center of mass x cm it is given by m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 okay now if you use this concept over here see uh, this is twice m if we assume this we at the origin if you make the distance if you measure the distance from this particular point then xcm it will be twice m into 0 plus m this distance is d so m into d divided by twice m plus m so that is equal to d by 3 okay so it means this distance if we assume this to be the center of mass then this distance will be d by 3 and total distance the separation between 2 is d so this distance is 2d by 3 isn't it okay so it means this is rotating in a circle of radius 2d by 3 this mass is rotating in a circle of radius d by 3 okay so the centripetal force acting on this mass it is m r omega square r is 2d by 3 so that is it this uh, centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force of attraction between the two masses so this is the force exerted by twice m on m is providing the centripetal force so this is g twice m m divided by d square okay so this from this we get the omega value to be 3 gm by d cube now omega is twice pi by t so it is 3 gm by d cube or t is equal to twice pi square root of d cube by 3 gm so this is the expression for time period of revolution of star of mass small m